So this is a dissection of the muscles of the upper extremity. Again, just to put this perspective, this is the way we're holding the, uh, the uh, upper extremity. Right, we'll start here at the top. Um, before I do the rotator cuff, I want to go over the deltoid real quick so I can remove it. This is the deltoid muscle, powerful abductor. It's going to bring the arm out um, and up. So it's a powerful abductor. So I'm going to take that one off. Let's take a look at the rotator cuff first. Remember the acronym SITS, S-I-T-S. The top one here is the supraspinatus. Right? This is going to initiate abduction, and then the deltoid will pick it up. I is this right here. This is the infraspinatus right here. These like these three bellies right there, and the infraspinous fossa. So that's the infraspinatus. And then the muscle that goes with it is the teres minor. Right. So S I T. Both of these muscles here are lateral rotators. They turn the arm out. The fourth rotator cuff you're going to find on the inside here, on the underside of the scapula. This is the subscapularis. This rotates the arm in. It's a media rotator. Okay? So those are our four rotator cuff muscles. Again, one more time. S, supraspinatus. I, infraspinatus. T, teres minor. And then subscapularis. Okay? The, uh, some other muscles, we'll just kind of go through this. This is showing on this dissection part of the pec major muscle. Here's the clavicular head and then the sternal head would come along this way, so this is the pec major. Um, we also see the teres major right here. Again, you can always pick up the teres major being separated from the teres minor by the long head of the triceps. That's the long head of the triceps. We also see the lats over here, which I just realized I forgot on this model. So I'm going to bring your attention here for one second. One of the muscles I forgot was the lats on this dissection. This was the latissimus dorsi. This is the one that puts you in the handcuff position. So the lats is here. Uh, more than likely, I use a model like this. But you can see the tendon of the lats right here also. It's up against the teres major right there. So that's the lats. We also have here, this is the coracobrachialis. This is the biceps brachii. If we took the biceps brachii off right here, we would see underneath it the brachialis. On the back, triceps. This was the long head. Again, it always separates the two teres. Long head of the triceps. This here is the lateral head. And this little guy right here, medial head. So that's the muscles of the arm. The muscles of the forearm. So what you want to do is separate the anterior compartment from the posterior compartment. Find the brachioradialis first. That's number 20 on this model. The brachioradialis is here. That's your handshake muscle. It's going to flex the elbow in the neutral position. So that's the brachioradialis. Then we're going to go across like this, from the thumb side to the pinky side. Pronator teres, flexor carpi radialis right here. The next one would be the palmaris longus. If you follow that tendon, it goes to the top of the flexor retinaculum, which is right here. This one is the one that's on top, so it's easy to see. That's the palmaris longus. Then we have the flexor carpi ulnaris right here. Under these three muscles, if we took this off, thank you, there is another muscle that's going to flex the fingers. This guy right here is called the flexor digitorum superficialis. Flexor digitorum superficialis. Under that, there's another couple muscles that flex the thumb and the, the fingers also. A little bit beyond the scope of this course, so we're just going to stop right here. Flexor digitorum superficialis. Okay, that's actually the muscles right there. Um, we go back to the brachioradialis, number 20. Now we want to look at the extensor side. So, brachioradialis was number 20. Then this one here, extensor carpi radialis longus. Extensor carpi radialis brevis, right there. Extensor digitorum. Again, if you follow this one down, you see it goes to all the digits right there. So that one's easy to see. Extensor digitorum. Unlabeled, unnumbered, extensor digiti minimi. Right there. Did you get that? Extensor digiti minimi. That's going to go to the pinky and extend the pinky. Then over here, extensor carpi ulnaris. Finally, the last three muscles, guys, that move the thumb, 
that we're going to do right here. This is the abductor pollicis longus. Right next to, yep, abductor pollicis longus right there. Abductor, I'm sorry, abductor pollicis longus here. Then this one is the extensor pollicis brevis. Extensor pollicis brevis. And the last one is this long tendon right here. This is the extensor pollicis longus, right, extensor thumb. When you go like this, like on me, you can actually see this tendon right here. That's the extensor pollicis longus. The belly of the muscles under here, we can't see that, but all we can see is the tendon. Okay? That's it.